One of the things that my wife and I enjoy about this season as young parents is the hope centered around Christmas. I mean, my kids have such an expectation for what December 25th, Christmas morning, will bring. They can't wait until that day. Well, in the Bible, we are given what's known as the first mention of the gospel all the way back in the book of Genesis chapter 3. Let me read it to you if I can from the New Living Translation and pay attention. You may not catch it, but this is actually the first mention of the gospel. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 from the New Living Translation. Listen to how it reads. I, speaking of God, will cause hostility between you, the enemy, and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He will strike your head and you shall strike his heel. Now, you may not catch that in just the initial reading, but what God is saying is this, listen, there is one coming, the hope of humanity, who the enemy will maybe, you know, bruise his heel, but Jesus through his life, death, burial, resurrection, and ascension, well, he will crush the head of the enemy. See, here's the great hope of Christmas, that God has sent his son, Jesus, not to just be an example to us, not to just be our hippie homeboy, not to just be the one that we look to and go, oh, Jesus is so sweet and endearing. He's all those things. He's our friend, he's our example, but he's also a savior. The one who came to take away the penalty and the power of sin. And that's the true hope of Christmas, that our sin has been dealt with. It's been dealt a death blow by our great King and Savior, the gift of God, Jesus Christ. And that's why we have hope this Christmas.